I'm Alaskan photographer Jeff Schultz, and this March of 2019 marks my 39th time I've traveled the Iditarod Trail making photos of this incredible event. So as this year's 2019 race was fast approaching, I asked two very creative friends, Matt Walzik and Andre Horton, to help me get out of my normal Iditarod mode and create something different that I could really sink my teeth into. So we finally decided after well, a lot of sushi and fried rice, do portraits of the people and the dogs, but take them out of the Iditarod element. The Iditarod element meaning the snow, the trees, the mountains, the straw, the checkpoints, the villages, and put them in a non-Iditarod environment. And the idea there was to use studio background, a basic gray background, and some kind of unique lighting. We would photograph them outdoors still. Even though we're using a studio background, really shows off the real person because it shows what they're wearing. We would photograph every walk of life that's involved in the Iditarod. The mushers, the volunteers, spectators that live in the village, and of course the stupendous canine athletes. We would ask each human subject their pertinent information, but then we'd ask them three questions. And after photographing a dog, we would interview the musher. We would not only transcribe the answers to these questions for people to view and read, but also to record the answers to these three questions so that the viewers can hear their voice and the verbal inflections of the answers. This makes this project that much more special. We create a website to show off these people and the canine athletes. On the back end of this, setting up this little mini studio out and about in sub-zero temperatures and wind, that made for some interesting times. After we got to a particular location, we would have to set up the beauty dish, set up the cover for it, add the flash, put on the brackets, and get it on the light stand, connect it to the battery, and then set up the background. More often than not, my assistant Sarah Manriquez would have to hold the background because we were in a lot of snow or wind or uneven terrain. It just made it impossible for it to stand on its own. And then I would take a test shot of the subject, perhaps adjust the light. We'd have the subject stand right next to the background. I typically would have the light just a little bit higher than their head, practically right in front of their face. And then I would position the camera just so I would get the light stand out of the picture, but basically right next to the light stand. Shooting with a wide angle lens, usually a 24 millimeter. Anyway, we set this up over and over and over many different times. And then we would break it all down and pack it up and move it on again. I'm an epidemiologist. I live in Unalaska, Alaska. It looks like a little porcupine. One experience that will well, stand out in my mind is... Well, the dog teams is oh, pretty man, fun. Oh, Kelly is... I am um, 55. <laughs> So as you can see here, the faces of Iditarod are diverse and all over the map. I think this is a great way to show off to the world just what the Iditarod is and who's behind it and why. I hope you enjoy the faces of Iditarod.